Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this is going to be another pack opening video because patch 5.1 has hit, meaning the new Stalwart Leader Command Pack is now available. This pack is okay. The contents of this pack are okay. I mean, a lot of reskin stuff, but still some very, very nice things. So let's see if we actually get any of that out of this pack. I'm going to start off with two hyper crates, and then if we don't um, get anything too good, I probably might open a third. I mean, I do have enough cartel coins for that uh, with still a sizable amount of them left over for giveaways and stuff. So I might decide to open three, and you guys will probably already know what my decision was by the title of this video, whether it's only two or three, but I don't know at this moment. Let's open up the uh, 52 cartel packs and see if we can't get anything good from them. Uh, the companion is really good because it's a Nexu companion, and although it's reskinned, the Nexu companion right now is not available anywhere. Uh, it's basically unobtainable, so it's going to be nice to see those get reintroduced to the GTN. We'll see how the, what those sell for, but more or less, I'm going for the Emperor Mantle's armor set. That's one that I really want to use for my own character, and as you guys can see, I'm rocking a new look this time around. I got kind of sick of the old look. I finally gave up that uh, campaign war leader's helmet, and I decided to go with the Nihilus helmet, which is really nice. And I'm trying to kind of put together a new Royal Emperor type look. So I'm really hoping that uh, the Emperor Mantle's armor set will fulfill that role. I just need to get it out of these packs. Uh, aside from that, also, if we can pull out a Platinum item, that would be awesome. Uh, okay, so we're starting off with two Bronze Decorations. I'm never angry to get decorations. It's, it's the other Bronze stuff that I don't like. Like right here, the Vigilant Mini Probe. Just a useless pet that's been reskinned time and time again. Uh, the Iocath Protective Railing. Yeah, some of these decorations are really nice, and I'm going to showcase all of the decorations at the end of this video. So, just say, if you if you like that, uh, I know a lot of other people do that in their pack opening videos, and decided that I'm going to go through this pack opening as quick as possible, uh, and then what we're going to do is at the end of this video, I'll showcase some of the good items I got from this, and also I'll showcase all of the decorations. Haven't gotten anything too great yet. A lot of junk. I might even end up opening the Grand Chance Cubes. I never used to do that beforehand, I always used to sell them, but now that I have like a credit cap and stuff, I don't really care anymore about credit, so I might as well open the Grand Chance Cubes and see if we can't get anything really, really nice. Uh, the Profane Sith Mural that you just got, uh, saw me get there, that's one of the really nice decorations. Oh gosh, we've seen this title repeat a ton of times. I can imagine that happening. Oh, we got the first gold. Awesome. The Nathema Beast Handler License, which is just a Nexu. But it's a really nice looking Nexu and probably going to sell for a lot on the GTN. So it's really cool that we got that so early on. Alright. Okay, more decorations and more Grand Chance Cubes. Come on. There should be more gold items. More decorations. Ah, here is another really, really nice decoration. The Forgotten Sith Sarcophagus. And another gold, okay, this is turning out to be a really good opening. Uh, the Mighty Cath Hound, which is one of the beast mounts that are coming out of here. Uh, undetermined whether that will be a good mount or a bad one, because uh, recently beast mounts have dropped pretty low on the GTN. However, this might be a really nice one, as someone pointed out in the comment section of one of my videos. Um, that was That's one from Kotar 1 and Kotar 2. Okay, looking quickly here, we got the Resourceful Engineer's Upper Body Armor. That's another okay drop. As I was saying, the Resourceful Engineer is not one of the better armor sets to get. I really want the Emperor Mantle and even the, uh, what's the other one called? Uh, okay, I forget what the other one's called, but those are the nicer ones. The Resourceful Engineer doesn't look too nice. Alright, more of those uh, crappy bronze pets. Oh, the blasters. The blasters are terrible. Even though they have a nice little laser sight on them, they're just... no one's ever going to use them. Alright, so that's the end of the first hyper crate. As you guys can see, we ended up getting three gold items, which is on average normal for a hyper crate. That's probably something that I'll end up ranting about later on in this video, uh, because if we don't get like a platinum item or something, it, it's just like... honestly... If you're opening a uh, hyper crate, you should be able to get more than three gold items. But here we have another one, which is a useless item to get, the Resourceful Engineer Lower Body Armor. Uh, if an armor set doesn't have a helmet, then the supplementary body armor is useless. But if an armor set does have a helmet, then it's usually the lower body armor that is just the worst. So it kind of sucks that you only get like three... Um, three gold items and then of those three gold items, if you get bad stuff, like if you get a gold decoration or if you get a... Um, if you get a... Um, you know, lower body armor for a armor set that isn't too nice, then that's just useless. That's a wasted hyper crate, basically. Only 16 packs left. I've only gotten one gold item so far. Come on. 
This is one thing that's a huge problem with Bioware's cartel packs. I'm not so much now worried about the content in them because you can expect a lot of reskinned and a lot of crappy stuff. It's more so the lack of the bad RNG. Like here's another problem. Okay, we got the Silent Warden's armor set. That's what it's called. But it was the lower body armor. That's not going to sell for anything on the GTN, nor is it like really anything you want. You want the supplementary and you want the upper because those contain the, uh, uh, the helmet and the breastplate. And you can just buy the lower body armor off the GTN if you need it to unlock the set or whatever. That's usually what's going to go for the cheapest. But it's unfortunate that we've gotten two lower body armors. Uh, that, those were my two gold items. Hopefully we'll pull out some more, but we don't have many packs to go. Only seven packs. My last pack opening was a lot more successful. I was able to pull out a platinum item uh, by, this, by this time. Junk, junk, junk. So many of these bronze items. Gosh. You can probably now understand why I was so pissed when they said that they were reintroducing bronze items with the Gemini Cartel packs. I mean, they're just so used. Okay, finally, another gold item. Okay, the Resourceful Engineer Supplementary Body Armor. Yeah, I really wanted the Emperor Mantle. I'm not too crazy about the Resourceful Engineer, and I don't see it selling too well on the GTN. That's that's one of the problems. All right, so we've opened two Hyper Crates. was not too great, honestly. Um, so I'm probably going to end up opening another one now. I just really want to get some cool stuff, honestly. That's all. Uh... And if I don't, then I'll just end up buying that stuff off the GTN, but it's kind of cool to get it out of cartel packs. But um, as you guys can see, the RNG is not too great, guys. So if you're looking to get some of the really cool stuff, it's not too great. Okay, well, we got one gold item right off the bat, as I was saying that the RNG was not too great, but it's the Arclight Nova, so we're getting some of the gold mounts. Once again, not getting the one gold mount I really want, which is the tank. I'm not too crazy about that Arclight Nova. Uh, as I mentioned in the pack preview video, I'm not sure how it's going to sell. A lot of people say it looks nice. I personally don't think it looks that nice at all. I could see that probably being a silver or a bronze mount. Speaking of silver mounts, I haven't gotten that reskin dace yet. I kind of want that. Uh, you know, just to pass that along, unlock it. It's a really nice mount still. Kind of angry that they reskinned a gold mount to a silver mount. I don't like that aspect of it, but still, it'd be nice to get it. And speaking of getting it, there we go, the Alliance Consoles Dace, that's the one I'm talking about. I honestly like that color scheme better than the gold color scheme. I like it better, it looks more Zakulin when it looks like that silverish grey rather than a totally pure black. And we're getting more decorations. Wow, decorations galore, honestly. Look at all, so many decorations. And only one gold item? Come on, there's only 11 packs left. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta get more gold items than this. Come on. Ugh, more silver stuff. Well, there's a dace again. I'm not gonna be complaining. Really interested to see what that will sell for on the GTN. Well, that's another thing. With a lot of the silver and bronze stuff, like you might be thinking, at least you're opening a cartel pack. Well, honestly, you could buy a lot of this stuff off the GTN. If you're not getting any, any of the gold or platinum stuff from cartel packs, then it's useless to open them. You can buy any of this stuff for super cheap on the GTN. All the silver and bronze stuff that's coming out of here. Oh my god, two more packs. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta get a gold item at least. Come on. Oh, there we go. Come on, be something good. Okay, the Silent Warden Supplementary Body Armor. The helmet from that armor set is really nice, so that's not bad. But still, you guys can see, that was really crappy RNG. Like, I got, um, I opened three Hyper Crates, I got eight gold items. So that's less than three gold items per Hyper Crate. That is insanely bad RNG. Bioware's got to do something to fix that. As I mentioned in previous videos, my suggestion would be something along the lines of, here, I'm going to claim the Grand Chance Cubes quickly, because we're probably going to end up opening them now. Hopefully we'll be able to get some good luck from them. It's kind of a last Hail Mary because the pack opening itself wasn't too great. But as I was saying, one of my suggestions was something like if you, if you don't get a gold item, that should increase your chance of getting a gold item in the next pack. And then that way you can kind of ensure that you get at least five gold items per hyper crate. I think that's reasonable. Five gold items per hyper crate is reasonable. Um, because for me, it's not a big deal. I get free cartel coins, I have tons of credits. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me whether I get good luck. But for someone that's actually gone and paid like the 40 bucks it costs to buy a hyper crate, as you guys can see, this is not worth 40 bucks. So really, this video isn't promoting cartel packs. I'm telling you right now, with the, R with the way RNG works, it's not worth your money. Honestly, it's not worth your money. And the pack itself isn't nice enough to warrant you actually paying real money for it. Anything you want, just buy it off the GTN.
Okay, enough of that rant. Let's go back to the Grand Chance Cubes. One of the reasons I absolutely love Grand Chance Cubes and the only reason I even consider opening them is for the armor sets. Whoa. Okay, a platinum item. Wow. Um, sorry, my, thing sh my mic shut off there for a second. Uh, wow, the Cyborg Sabaflor Monkey... Okay, I can't pronounce that. The monkey lizard, basically, and it's a cyborg version. A platinum pet. Now, that is really nice. I'm really excited to check the price of that on the GTN. Well, hey, we didn't get a platinum item out of three hyper crates, but somehow we managed to get one out of a grand chance cube. Not sure how that works, but I'm not complaining. As I was mentioning, armor sets are really the only thing I open grand chance cubes for. And the rare and odd platinum drop like I just got. Now, here we go. That's a nice one. The casual vandal armor set. Anything that ha that reveals any part of your upper body armor, that usually sells for a lot. 11 more Grand Chance Cubes to go. Let's see if we can maybe pull out something nice as well. Although we already got the Platinum, so... The Grand Chance Cubes did their job. Oh wow, okay, I thought it was going to be Platinum again. Okay, that's another Gold Mount, a Corellius Duke SE. Uh, not a fan of the style of the Corellius, but I know people collect those mounts, so let's see what that sells for in the GTN a little later. Okay, more junk, more junk. Another gold one, really. Oh, the Blade Master's lightsaber. Uh, when it was coming out, I thought it was the Cather Honor Sword. It kind of looked like that. But the Blade Master saber, hey, I'm not complaining. Another gold item. That's what I would use Grand Chance Cubes for, honestly. Like, if you open a pack and you're willing to open the Grand Chance Cubes, they're kind of like a Hail Mary. You're hoping to get something nice to redeem a really bad pack opening. That's exactly what these Grand Chance Cubes did. Uh, this Platinum... Oh, here we go. The Cyborg Sable Fur. Okay, Sable Fur Kowalkian Monkey Lizard. Definitely redeemed that pack opening. All right, everyone, I am back. I have claimed all of the really good items so I can showcase kind of the good stuff we got. We did end up getting that Cyborg uh, Pet, the Corellius Duke, and then the Blade Master's Lightsaber. Those are from the Grand Chance Cubes. Quickly checking some of their prices on the GTN. This one was only selling for 29 million. I was maybe hoping that it was gonna be uh, worth a lot more, just, I don't know, like 60, 70 million, but uh, that was also kind of a Hail Mary. Uh, and then these are selling for okay prices. Uh, looking at some of the items I actually got from the pack, we got the Nathema Beast Handler License, the Cath Hound, and the Arclight Nova, which are okay drops. And then we got some, you know, um, armor pieces. Like the supplementary was pretty good, the upper was pretty good, but the two lowers were a waste. And only eight gold items out of three hyper crates. You guys can see why that just makes absolutely no sense. Bioware needs to fix that. And until they do, as I mentioned earlier, do not buy cartel packs, okay? This video is not to promote them. I am telling you right now, I've opened these three hyper crates and it's very clear indication that they are just not worth it. So now what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna be showcasing some of the uh, decorations because they're actually really quite nice. And so um, as I showcase them, I'm just going to be talking over it and kind of talking about my general impression of the cartel pack. And then, um, and yeah, so if you're not interested in any of that, the video is basically over. I won't be like opening any more packs or anything. But as I was mentioning, if anything, this should, video should dissuade you from buying any cartel packs because they, Bioware needs to fix their RNG. And I don't see what's really wrong with ensuring that people get a good item from it like why is like you know when bioware had that um the wild space explorer packs and stuff what they would do is the hypercrate gave you a platinum pack and what that platinum pack did was it ensured you a really good item so at least that ensured you a gold item uh so that was a nice kind of add-on not sure why they removed that honestly it was really nice uh it was kind of like wow you didn't feel like you were wasting your money when you were buying a hypercrate now we kind of just get 26 packs and out of those 26 packs you don't even have a guarantee of getting at least three gold items it used to be guaranteed i never opened a hyper crate and got less than three gold items but it kind of it happened today and let me tell you guys you know if i paid 40 bucks for that cartel pack i would not be happy right now quickly before i get back to the rant i just want to say that the sarcophagus is probably one of the nicest decorations to come out of this pack i uh, can see that selling for a ton of credits on the GTN. Maybe not right now because the market's about to get flooded, but definitely later on. That is a really, really nice decoration. And I'm quite surprised to see that it's not gold. I thought that would be gold. It's it has those really nice smoky things coming out, and it's from the uh, chapter 7 of Knights of the Eternal Throne when you're traveling through Valkorion's vault, and um, it, it's actually showcased in a little bit of a cinematic and stuff. So really, really nice decoration. Props to Bioware on that. Um, 
yeah, okay, back to the rant and back to hating on uh, EA, I guess it's the people who control cartel packs. Yeah, they put so much effort into the cartel market. Uh, they sacrifice group content and story content and they want to make sure that, you know, they're plugging out packs as much as possible. You would think that they actually put in some good amount of effort uh, into, the, into their cartel packs and th really it doesn't seem like they do. Like, it's not hard. Just make good cartel market items. There's just so many ideas out there. And so many players have given amazing ideas. I've seen those ideas in the comment sections of my videos where people say, why hasn't this been added? And why hasn't that been added? And I don't see why Bioware just doesn't do that. They keep giving us reskinned stuff that no one really wants. Half of the stuff I got, oh, not half, like 80% of the stuff I got out of this cartel pack, I'm never going to use. It's just complete junk. And it's annoying. And yeah, I think Bioware should have a system in place that ensures that you're going to get some your money's worth buying a hyper crate. Not when you just buy a single cartel pack. That's fine. That can be up to RNG or even a super crate. But if someone's actually plugging in the 40 bucks to buy a hyper crate, they should be insured and they should feel satisfied after having opened it. You know, you can still leave it up to RNG, but just give us some way of, of doing it. Maybe cartel packs drop these tokens that you can then go to a vendor and buy items from that certain pack. Uh, they used to do that with the cartel market certificates, albeit it wasn't the best system. It was at least a system that ensured you can get, you could, uh, you know, if you open enough cartel packs, you can still get a really rare item. It was actually, in hindsight, a really good system because if someone opened five hyper crates of the shipment one cartel packs, they would have enough cartel market certificates to go and get themselves a Revan's mask and even a few other stuff. So, you know, if they don't get that one item from the cartel packs and they've spent so much money on it, then at least they're insured that they get that item from that vendor. Unfortunately, we have not, no system like that in place. And what that means is cartel packs just feel really disenfranchising at the moment. And um, yeah, don't buy them, don't buy them. They're just not worth it. You know, if you're opening cartel packs just for the items, really just buy them off the GTN. That will work just fine. These items are probably going to drop in price because this is going to be a pretty popular cartel pack, which means the market is most likely going to get flooded right now. So it's a great time to kind of just go into the collections tab, see which items you want, go on the GTN and buy them. And as I gave a tip earlier on, you normally don't want to buy hyper crates for the 4,600 cartel coins, even if you really, really wanted to open one. There's a lot of other better ways to convert your cartel coins to credits, and you can probably just end up buying one off the GTN. Uh, as you guys saw earlier in this video, and as you guys might be seeing on the screen right now, I have 10 eternal command hyper crates just sitting there in my inventories. You guys might be wondering, what is that all about? Well, I did end up picking those up off the GTN because there was a little bit of an undercutting war that happened last night where there were about three or four people who were trying to sell their hyper crates. And literally in that like 20, 30 minutes I was online, they kept undercutting each other on the GTN and eventually reached 20 million credits. So some guy just put up like 20 hyper crates for tw uh, 20 million credits, probably a gold farmer or something or a botter, but uh, either way, really great deal to buy these hyper crates at 20 mil, so I picked up 10 of them, and I left a few on the GTN. I have a video of it that I'm probably gonna put up later, where I open them, and I don't know, maybe do some statistical thing, maybe give some stuff away, but um, that video will come later, but the bottom line is, uh, I left a few up on the GTN, and those still sold in like a matter of a few minutes, someone else picked them up. And so, um, yeah, hyper crates do drop. You just kind of have to get a little bit lucky. And if you just keep checking the GTN, not crazy, but, you know, you check a few times a day, you'll probably find some good deals on hyper crates. And it's much, much more better to pay credits for them because usually you can make your credits back in the worst case scenario. And I would say more than half of the time, you'll make a pretty sizable profit. But that's if you buy them for credits. If you pay real money for them, if you use your hard-earned cartel coins that you saved up for many months from your uh, monthly subscriber rewards and stuff, I would say you're probably going to be disappointed opening them. And by the way, if you're watching or if, if this any gets around, please develop a system where we feel better after opening the hyper crate, where we have, the, you know, because for me, it's not the biggest deal. But uh, I can totally see other people getting a little bit angry, like, wow, I opened like five hyper crates, didn't get a single platinum item. You know, I opened three hyper crates right here, no platinum item. Like, come on. How many hyper crates do you really have to open? I'll tell you one thing. I have opened, you know, 30 hyper crates in a row. Back in the day, um, I opened like when the when they went on true blowout sales, like I think packs only cost like 27, 2700 cartel coins. They also dropped tremendously low on the GTN. And I literally was able to open like, 30 hyper crates in a row, didn't get a single platinum item. 
literally, I think I have the footage on my computer. I opened like 30, I have to go and check because I opened it many, many months ago, but I opened like 30 revenge packs in a row. I was going to do a huge video on them. And then I remember like I didn't get a single platinum item. And I was like, how stupid is that, honestly? But nonetheless, um, I'll end the video here because I, I don't know if I've uh, covered everything. But I think the majority of my viewers have probably left at this point. Only the really loyal ones stay, have probably stayed till the end because the video's done its purpose. It showed the, the, the drop rates for a lot of the items and it showed that really the RNG is just too bad right now to make anyone feel happy with these cartel packs. So I'll end the video here. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Um, I really love doing these pack openings. Despite how bad RNG will get, despite how bad cartel packs will get, the pack openings must go on and they will. Uh, and you know what, for those people who made it to the end of this video, let's do a little giveaway. Just to reward those people that uh, that actually listen to me ramble on and wait till the end of this video. Because I know there are you, you guys are out there and really I love you guys for supporting me that much and you actually like stay till the end of this video and you listen to what I have to say, that means a lot to me. And so you know what, I'll reward you guys by doing a small little giveaway of a hyper crate. We'll give away a hyper crate of the stalwart command pack or the stalwart leader pack, whatever it's called. And so the way you can enter into this one is just leave a comment section in, in the comment section of the video. It doesn't have to be your character name or your thing or whatever. I'll just contact you if you've won. But just leave a comment about the video, maybe some feedback, your thoughts about cartel packs, um, something along those lines. And then to indicate that you made it to the end of this video and you're entering the giveaway in that comment at the end, write something like all hail the emperor or something like that or long live the emperor and that way I'll, something about the emperor and that way I'll know that um, that you made it to the end of this video and you're entering in for the giveaway as well that way you know if I just made it so that you entered in with your name and your faction or whatever then people will, who didn't make it in this video will know that uh, the giveaway is going on so they'll probably enter in anyway so to reward you guys that made it to the end of this video that's the way you can enter in for a nice little giveaway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one